Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will be writing our first test so let's begin. In our previous tutorials we learned that how we can install a playwright. So now uh, let's go to the Visual Studio code here and inside the Visual Studio code here we will be writing our test inside this test folder. Okay and for this tutorial I will be using a all HRM demo website. So let me go here and open orange hrm demo website so this is a demo website and we will be using this for our tutorials and for our first test what we will do is that we will be navigating to this website and then we will be asserting the title of this particular page so for title so simply what you need to do is that right click on the screen go to inspect here and here in the head section we will find a title so this is a title and this is something which we need to verify using a rewrite script so this is our first test here and let me go to the Visual Studio code here and here let me create a new file here and i'm naming it as orange hrm and title dot spec dot js so basically you need to have extension dot spec dot js in some cases you might be using or you may use dot js as well okay so this is our file and here the first thing we need to do is that we need to have some some you know intelligence required while writing our test we need some support right just like we do in cypress and any other tool so you start typing something and Visual Studio will support you and guide you what you're gonna write. Okay. For this, uh, what we need to do is just simply just at the start of the test, write double slash at ts dash check. That's it. Now, in order to write a test in the playwright, we would be using a test block here. So test at let me type it again. So simply test and test. And now inside the test, what we will do is that we will be writing the title of test first. So the title of test is basically validate orange HRM website title and now we need to use a async function here callback function and inside that callback function we will be isolating the page because we are visiting the page here so we'll be isolating that page so simply we will be using the async keyword here and inside this async keyword we need to provide a page and here and as soon as you type the page you will get the details here okay and now we need to provide the arrow function and the body of the arrow function here so simply here you see that we are getting error and it is not displaying any kind of information here the reason is that we need to import the play right test here so we, we require that one so simply const and here inside this curly braces we need to type a test and these tests are basically equals to then we need to type a keyword called required and here we need to provide the play right as a test so just click on this one and now you see that the error has gone and now you get all the information regarding this one so test title of the test in terms of a string then your test function then okay so this is all the information provided here and similarly if i go here now into this async page you will see that isolating a page created for each test page are isolated between test due to fixtures dot context isolation okay so we will be isolating this page and we will be using a async here and now the first thing is that we need to visit the website so simply 
type page dot go to and we need to provide the url here and let me go back here and let me provide the url here so this is a url so let me copy this one from here and let me go back here and paste it here and when you're using a async here we need to use a keyword called await so await will be using for synchronization in the playwright so await page dot go to and the page which we want to visit here okay and and then we have a termination and then what we need to do is that now we need to verify the title of the particular page again await then expect and uh, expect page and page to have title okay and again this is not giving us any information here so for that we also require a expect here we sim similar simply just give a comma here and type expect here that's it now you will have this particular method here so let me retype it again dot to have title and inside this we need to provide the title which we want to assert here simply i will give a forward slash here and i will give a orange hrm and we will give a another forward slash and this one so this will be matching this title okay so let me save this one and now what we need to do is that we need to run this one there are so many ways in the playwright to run your test and we will be learning those all different ways in our upcoming tutorials right now just simply uh, run this one and we can run this by simply using a command called npx node execute and then we will be writing play right here and space test and now we need to provide the name of a test here so this is orange hrm underscore title dot spec dot js and there are two modes of running the test one is headless and one is headed one so headed means that it will open the browser and execute your test and on the other hand if you go with the headless mode it will not open the browser and it will run in the headless option so simply i will go here with the headed here and before we execute this command let me show you this playwright config file here and here if i scroll here you will see that we have all these browsers and when we install we install all of these ones but after that i have commented this one because i don't want to run them at the same time or the parallel execution or one by one simply i want to run my test on the chrome okay so that's why this particular section is uncommented we will be learning these things in our upcoming sessions step by step but right now i will just want to show you this one because when you will be executing your test it will open the three browsers here so let me go with the headed one and it says running one test opening the browser here and opening the website here and our test got executed successfully okay and uh, now let me write another test but before that simply we can go here and this is a press uh, uh, you know play sign here and if i click on this one it will again execute your test here as well so there are multiple ways as i said we'll be learning different ways in our upcoming sessions and now i'm going with my another test here and let's go here and let me create a new file and again i'm naming it as orange hrm and this time uh, we will be verifying that 
this orange uh, charm website url must contain this uh, maybe orange hr life okay orange hrm life so this is our test so this code url dot spec dot these and i will be copying this all the lines from here and these are very basic tests we will be writing our tests step by step and here instead of this particular line what i need is that simply i will be using await again then expect and page is isolated already then to have and run and inside this we will be asserting our pattern here so simply uh, my pattern is that it should contain um for example orange hrm life okay so this this is what i want so simply power slash and you are done now save this one and now let's run this test and again simply what we will do is that we'll be writing the same command here and here we will be changing the name of our test which is all hrm underscore url dot spec dot js and enter this one as it says running one test it's opening the browser going to the website here and our test got executed and you see that it says to open the last html report run npx playwright shows me so let me copy this one and paste it here and hit enter so it will open the last report here so or an hrm website title and you will see some details here we will be learning about these reports in our upcoming sessions right now we just want to learn that how we can run our very very basic test in the playwright thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial